G'day, Tim Neal from Data Farming. Just wanted to show you a new feature um, for our automated rapid zoning tool. Um, we're going to take you through each section and then you can see how you might use the outputs as well. Um, and at the moment, we can zone off just a straight satellite image, but in the future, we'll be able to zone off any layer. But let's get, get started. Um, so I've picked an image here from a farm on the 24th of May. Um, and once you're comfortable with the image that you've got, uh, you can go up to actions and create zones. Now this will immediately bring up a page that will show you that we're gonna zone off the standard resolution image off the NDVI and you can change these as well. And you can see it's already picked the date uh, because I selected that date before, it's pre-populated with the, with the 24th of May. So you, you can easily change that in here if you didn't don't like that uh, particular image. Um, and this shows you now you can pick the number of zones that you want. So uh, two, three, four, or five. Um, so once you click on the, the zone, um, what pops up down below is what sort of resolution do you want? And this is really about what sort of machine you're applying it with. If you, you're trying to get down to, you know, sort of a section control on a boom spray, um, then you probably want to be at the sort of five meter resolution. Um, but if you're, you know, doing a spreader, then you probably want to be up to 25 or 50 meters. Um, if you're doing, say, aerial application, you might even want to be 100 meters or more. So you can see see here that we can um, just scroll through now and at each resolution, we can sort of pick uh, the number of zones we want. And in this case, it might be a good idea to put this on, say, uh, let's go back to 25 meter resolution. So you can see here, as I increase the number of zones, it draws more zones right up to five zones. So, you know, this is really for up to you to work out um, what best suits the field, but it gives you this flexibility to, to make the zones, uh, the number of zones as many as you want, or do you want to make it final course resolution uh, for your machine? Now, once you've decided that, um, you then click on to either next or up to edit and assign rates. So now I'm in here and I, in zone one, I might want to apply, say, uh, 100 kilograms of a product. Uh, I might want to apply 125 kilograms, 150 kilograms, say 175 kilograms and 200 kilograms per hectare. Now, this number is totally uh, related to the, the to type of um, product you're actually applying. So if it's, you know, if it's litres of water, then it's you, you've got to make it in litres of water that the application's uh, doing uh, per hectare. If it's in kilograms per hectare, say for um, in-crop fertilizer spreading, you might want to, this might be, for example, kilograms of nitrogen uh, or urea per hectare. It's important that you're putting in the rate that relates to the product you're applying. Um, so it's not the rate of nitrogen, for example, it's the rate of the product that you're applying. If you're applying something like lime uh, and you want to put on, say, two, two tonnes per hectare, then you need to write in 2,000 because most controls work in in kilograms per hectare. Uh, a little uh, cool feature here is it tells you how many kilograms of product you're actually gonna need down the bottom there. So uh, I was at uh, 15,000 15, kilograms, 15 tons of product to treat this field with these rates and these zones. Um, the other feature I didn't mention before is if you just wanna double check your rates, if we go back to here for a minute, um, you know, if you just wanna double check your, you can actually slide this little transparency thing across and you can see the image underneath. Now this just helps confirm where you can see the, the black lines where the boundaries are. So it just confirms that, you know, it's representing what you can see in the image and you're happy with that. Um, so once you've um, sort of picked all your rates, you can um, then just double checking that. There's another little feature we've built as well. So you can see the paintbrush down each side here. Um, the paintbrush will allow you to actually change the zones. So just say this little blue blob here, I actually didn't want that as a, as a zone five, I want that as a zone four. You just click on the little paintbrush beside it, come across and, and click on those polygons you might want to change the rate of. And similarly, if you wanted to pick, you know, a bit more uh, red, you know, zone one here. And sometimes, you know, certain zones you know that something's different there and you might want to apply it at a higher or lower rate. So you can do that for any of these rates along here. Um, and that that sort of, um, you know, gets you 
sort of sorted there where you can actually um, put the different rates in. Uh, and then you can add that to your card and you can see as I actually as I change those polygons, the rates change, you can see that. So um, it gives you a sort of confidence about how much product you actually need. So now we'll add that to our cart. And um, I've actually got two lots in here, so I'll delete one of those, sorry. Um, and you, this is your shopping cart. So you can zone multiple fields at once if you have a subscription, or you can just add more and more and more fields from different farms and do all your variable rates at once, and then you proceed to check out. Now, the, the price of this at the moment is 50 cents per hectare. So on this 100 hectare field, um, the 50 cents uh, plus GST. So now we can proceed to check, check out. It's telling you you've got a three zones, uh, one field, and um, you put your details in. Uh, just for this case, I'll, you can, um, you, you'll only be able to select a credit card, but you put your credit card details in. You agree uh, with the terms and conditions, you hit pay. And now you'll see that that's been paid for. Um, we, need, we now want to export this. And this file now, you can either export, um, if you've done multiple fields on the one farm, you can actually export uh, all the whole farm at once in one file. And this is useful for, say, if you're uh, an aerial operator and you might want to uh, treat, say, four paddocks at once with one file, then you can just export that as one file uh, for the whole farm. If you're like in a tractor, you should be picking this individual fields. So that if you have three fields that you want to do variable rate application on, you should pick individual fields. The reason for this is that most tractors will operate uh, on a per field basis. So you'll get a separate file for each field. So now I'll just hit that. Uh, you'll see that it's just exported that. Um, and we can now go in and um, we can then go and have a look at that file and you, it, it will be a, a zipped shape file, which you need to extract. Um, let me just share this. Um, if I can just find my, uh, my files here. Um, if I go to my downloads, just give me one second. Um, downloads. Um, just shut this down a bit. Um, it'll be in your downloads folder. Let me just share this with you. So this is the my file in the downloads folder, and you can see it's got a number of files associated with. It. They're all named the same except for the the bit at the end. So you need all of these files to come across into your machine, and so you need to uh, extract that. You just uh, right click on that. Uh, on the zip file and click unzip and you either put that into your um onto a usb stick and, and and put it into the machine or you uh, put this into my john deere and send it directly to the machine we do have a self-help guide once you purchase it'll come to you so you can um actually it will tell you how to put this into each different type of machine um, if you have any troubles at all with this we're more than happy to help get it working in your machines just email us support at datafarming.com.au or give us a call and we'll help you out straight away. Thanks for watching uh, and look forward to uh, getting uh, more and more variable rate to help you with your farm management. Thank you.